Hi everyone, so welcome back to my YouTube channel and in today's video, I'll be filming a 2021 SPM CE Up essay about a dessert review. So as we all know, for the new format of this year, reviews essays are actually quite common in the SPM syllabus. Hence, it is very important that you know how to write a good review. So the review that we're talking about today, it's about desserts. So I believe as Malaysians, all of us, we always have a constant craving for candy or sweet stuff because it gives us that dopamine hit. So without further ado, let's look at the questions first. As you can see here, I want you to write and submit a review of a dessert outlet. So guys, outlet is basically like a store, you know, where it really sells desserts and you have currently visited and enjoyed. Talk about the food and whether you would recommend it. So basically, we are just writing a simple review about a dessert shop. You can either use a real dessert shop from Malaysia, from somewhere else, or if you want to invent your own dessert shop, it's definitely acceptable as well. As long as you have covered the main points, that is the most important factor to help you score and write a an outstanding review essay. So as you can see here, when it comes to writing review, there are only a few things to bear in mind, which is very simple. The first one is the introduction. The introduction of the place, uh, tempat dia, introduction of the dessert, like what does it really, really sell? The introduction, and most importantly, when it comes to writing reviews essays, you can't be like, oh, the dessert is delicious. The dessert is amazing. You cannot just use adjectives. You must be, specific you must talk about the specifics like for example if this shop is selling ice cream how good is the ice cream is it silky is it creamy like what is the specifics you must always always focus on the specifics no matter what kind of review essay you're writing a movie or book or even a technology it doesn't matter you have to be extremely specific and last but not least is to include your very own opinion on why would you recommend this place or this thing to somebody else because you are writing a review essay so it also really tests your persuasive writing skills because you have to persuade other people to want to go to this place because it's a review essay well for today's review as malaysians i'm pretty sure all of us we do we do enjoy like you know a good bowl of tau fu fa because tau fu fa they are like the Malaysian most common desserts you can find basically in every nook and cranny. You can find this dessert from Pasar Malam or maybe shopping malls or maybe your mom just made it. Who, who knows? So it's a very common dessert. But nowadays, this one is the traditional um, tau fu fa. As you can see, it is like sweetened with ginger, ginger syrup, etc. But nowadays, look at the like look at the 21st century tau fu fa. It is so colorful. It is so unique and so innovative. So today we are going to invent a shop. We are going to do a review essay on a dessert shop that we have recently enjoyed and visited. And we are going to write about all these types of desserts, which is mainly tau fu fa. And we have to describe every single thing here. You can't just be like, oh, it is delicious, you know? It's, it is delicious, you put like a yummy face, that's not enough. You have to be very specific, like what is this, you know? What is this, you know? And what is this? It's purple color, you have to be very, very specific. So I've already written down the essay nicely. And right now, if you are at home, be sure to write down this entire essay. Please give this video a like. If you want more videos like this, you can give this video a like and comment down below what sort of other essays you would like teacher to teach and I'll try to, you know, provide it to you guys, okay? So anyways, without further ado, as I mentioned before, number one, it is always, always important to write your introduction. As you can see, for my first paragraph, I've written here, good news to all the sweet tooths out there. What is sweet tooth? Sweet tooth is basically a person who really likes sweet stuff. So it is a super duper good news to all of you guys. The dessert shop, that I invented, well, the name is not that great, but it's a start. It is called Soitisfying. So there's a word called satisfying. We changed the satisfying into Soitisfying. Recently, we have visited a shop 
cost satisfying and it has taken Malaysia by storm as it serves a tantalizing dessert that no Malaysians can resist. This one is our simple introduction. As you can probably see here, has taken Malaysia by storm. It basically stands for every Malaysian, they are really in love, they are addicted to this particular dessert, like the entire Malaysia are falling in love with it. So when you say that something is taken by storm, this thing has become very popular. It has become something that everybody loves. So when the soybean desserts, when they at first, I mean, I wouldn't say when it, fit, when it first hit Malaysia, when the trend of the soybean dessert started in Malaysia, everyone loved it. It was so popular. So you could say that something has taken a someone by storm because for this shop, what does it really serve? We give an introduction, an introduction first. So basically, it serves a tantalizing dessert. And everyone, what is tantalizing? Tantalizing meaning it is very tempting. Or perhaps you may see another word called enticing. It is basically an adjective. Whenever you look at this thing, it is like super duper, perhaps mouth watering. Your saliva will just drip from your mouth. It looks super duper delicious. So when you look at the dessert, you're like, Shh. you know, you are starting to salivate. Your mouth is filled with, you know, all your slivers because the entire dessert looks very satisfying. It looks enticing, tantalizing, or maybe mouth watering. It is a dessert that no Malaysians can resist. So we give a simple introduction first. And if you can, you can talk about why is this dessert so famous? Well, purely because soy-based dessert like Tau Fu Fa, we have a rich history with Tau Fu Fa. You know, in the olden days, we often bump across those hawker stores that sell Tau Fu Fa in like Pasar Malam or maybe in Ipoh and all those like hometown is a very welcoming dessert. So it has a rich history with Malaysians as we used to savor them. So what does savor mean? Savor basically means you are indulging. To indulge or maybe to enjoy this delectable sweet dessert in night markets, etc. So as a simple introduction, this store that we have visited, it's called Soitisfying Dessert Shop. It specializes, meaning what? It specializes on only one dessert, which is soil-based products, soil-based desserts, which is well known as Tau Fu Fa. There is nothing more satisfying than, than a scoop of Tau Fu Fa. So there's a small little typo here. As you are writing this essay, please ignore teachers um, Miss typo. There is nothing more satisfying than a scoop of Tau Fu Fa. So it's quite obvious today we are writing about Tau Fu Fa. And as you can see here, this is the entire essay. So before you start playing this video, you can actually write down the entire essay first. So after you have finished writing everything, teacher will start to explain, which is easier for you guys. So first of all, we are going to talk about the specifics like what is some what is so special about this shop we have to get really really specific so number one all of their bouncy sweet potato taro balls all of them are made from scratch meaning what they are handmade every single day hence they are super bouncy they are super fresh they are super duper delicious we have to be specific so basically all the balls on the sorry, the taro balls or potato balls, like all these, uh, we made them from scratch. They handmade it freshly every single day. You see, I'm being very, very specific. So moving back on to here, it comes with made from scratch, bouncy sweet potato and taro balls lying. They are lying. They are lying on a bit of silky soft tau fu fa. Okay, so this one is our number one. Like the specifics, the entire tau fa is super nice. And other than that, it is decorated or you could use another word called garnished. Yeah. So basically, what does garnish mean? Garnish meaning it is decorated with what? Like maybe with nuts. They are garnished with, you know, a wide variety of toppings like red or black sesame paste. So you give some elaboration. So number one, it is made from scratch. Number two, it is decorated. It is garnished with toppings such as etc. So these two are our, are our specifics of why this dessert shop is amazing. And then the third one. As you can see here, once the Tau Fu Fa 
touches your tongue. Once it touches your taste buds, it truly packs a punch. So this one is actually a very, I would say, um, it's a very nice idiom to use. So what does packs a, packs a punch mean? Everyone, you may write down this meaning. You can write down it has a powerful effect. Have you all eaten any food or any dessert? When you combine all the flavors together, like maybe nasi lama, when you combine all the desserts together and once you bite on it, it has like a heavenly feeling. It really, really packs a punch. It has a powerful effect and it really makes you happy once you bite into that tofu fa. So it truly packs a punch is a simple phrase to describe the dessert. Okay, so we have written about three of the special things of this dessert shop. Teacher will give you a few more examples. So other than the three specifics, what is, is okay, so other than these three, is there something else, something much more special? So the next sentence, as you can see here, what really catches my eye, what really caught your attention was, wow, they actually serve Tau Fu Fa cheesecake. So I actually made this up. I never really had a Tau Fu Fa cheesecake. If you had it before, do let me know about the reviews. But we are inventing, you know. So for this dessert shop, it also serves like a super exclusive dessert, which is called Tau Fu Fa cheesecake that is available uh, only uh, exclusively during the weekends. Ah, so another another specifics, another wow factor. It has tofu fa garnished uh, with a lot of uh, variety of toppings. And the next one is that they have tofu fa cheesecake. Like, wow. So not to mention, when you visit a dessert shop, you can choose from an extensive range. Extensive range is a very simple word, meaning what, everyone? It means that there is a wide variety. There is a wide variety, or perhaps you can use another phrase, which is called a wide array of. Basically, there are like so many choices for you to choose from. There's nuts, there's cream, whatever you want. So I've, given, I've already given a few examples. There's like, you know, grass jelly, ginkgo nuts, and so forth. There are so many choices. So we are, you can even add one more sentence. We are bombarded with choices of toppings. Ah, another additional sentence for the essay. We are bombarded with choices. Okay, this one is extra just for you guys. Uh. You can write this down. We are bombarded by a variety of choices or maybe we can just be specific a variety of toppings ah so bombarded meaning is like a shotgun like if have you ever seen how a shotgun works like it's coming out non-stop so basically what does it mean by it is that this entire dessert shop this entire dessert shop there's more than 100 million you know choices of toppings you are bombarded by a variety of toppings you are spoiled for choice so yeah and i'm giving you one more all right so another one is an added bonus you know another extra factor is when when you go for this dessert shop called them um, you know uh sorry an added bonus sorry is when you opt for takeaway services so in malaysia we always be like boss 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 uh, can you please tap out for me? I would like to tap out the nasi lemak. But nowadays, the pandemic, you have to tap out basically everything. So for the entire tap out, it is called the takeaway services. So as a customer, if you ever, ever go for the takeaway services, the entire delicious and tantalizing tangkufa, it will be packed in an aesthetically pleasing box which is Instagram worthy. So what does it really mean is that when you tap out the taofufa, the entire box, it is extremely aesthetic. Aesthetic meaning it looks very nice. It, the packaging is like very striking, very pretty. It is so pretty that you want to use your phone. You take a picture and you upload on Instagram. So we use the word, it is highly, highly Instagram worthy. So if you actually zoom out on the essay, <clears throat> sorry, if you actually zoom out on the essay and if you highlight all the specifics, we have around, okay, you see, uh, we have around one, two, three, four, five, six. 
we have six wow factors on why you should visit this dessert shop. And the dessert shop name is invented by me called Soitus Fying. So there are a lot of specifics and wow factor that was the one that I was talking about right here. You have to be very, very specific. Understood everyone? So after that, we are moving on to our opinion. For the opinion wise, it's like basically like our final ending. So be sure to write down this before you listen to my explanation. As A for mention, okay, what does it mean? As A for mention, it basically stands for, because during the first paragraph, I already mentioned that, you know, it is a sweet tooth and it is for all the Malaysians out there. I already mentioned this during the first paragraph. So as I mentioned before, so another phrase, much more straight to the point, as A for mentioned, dear guys, as A for mentioned, I would recommend it to every Malaysian out there. I would recommend it to every Tom, Dick or Harry, or maybe I would recommend it to people from all walks of life. So after writing it, this down, a simple conclusion, it is made with top-notch ingredients and highly, highly addictive, ho ho sick. So the final one about the pricing point, the price point reflects the quality. So I didn't really mention how much does it cost, but the Taofufa is superior. It's using like top-notch quality. The price and the quality are both, you know, in the middle. I mean, they are up to par, they are par to par, they are neck to neck. The quality and the pricing point matches with each other perfectly well. So as a conclusion, the price point reflects the quality and it is worth every penny. Worth every penny basically means, you know, let's say the Taofufa is 5 ringgit. The Taofufa is 10 ringgit. The Taofufa is 20 ringgit. It's worth every single penny because it is made with top-notch quality. So the final thing in my review as an opinion, if I were you, I would not miss it for the world. Miss it for the world is basically an idiom, meaning I will never, never miss it because... It's super duper good, a super, a super duper amazing. So whenever you pass by, you must go and buy. You must buy for the aesthetically pleasing, uh, you know, the entire packaging. If you go in there for dining services after you treat your vaccination, you must try out the signature. And during the weekends, you can feel free to try out their Tao Fu Fa cheesecake. All right. So basically, this entire review teacher has, you know, made up a dessert shop, but Thank you to, you know, Malaysia has been wonderful. Malaysia has really came up. There's a lot of, you know, different dessert shop mushrooming in Malaysia. So basically, these two soy, uh, soy dessert was provided by them. And, you know, we really, really, I'm really, I'm so thankful for the pictures that I could find on the internet. And yeah, everyone, that's basically it for the entire SPM extended writing on a review about a dessert. So I hope you learned something new. Be sure to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. So if you would like more videos or more notes, feel free to find me on my social media in Instagram. And I'll see you guys in my next video. So thank you so much, everyone. Have a great day. Stay safe, stay home. But remember, never ever stop learning. So bye.